Okay, story time. I'm going to tell you about the time that I missed the SATs. So, I'm ready to take the SATs the following morning, and so I plug my calculator in, being the good student that I am, getting all ready. So I go to bed thinking, this is going to be great. I'm going to do so well on this test. Everything's going to go as planned. Boy, was I wrong. I wake up the next morning, go downstairs, get my calculator. I go to turn it on, and it's dead. Literally dead. And so I'm just sitting here like, So I think to myself, okay, how can I avoid panicking? So I start to look for a scientific calculator. Turned my whole house upside down, like, you know that drawer that everybody has that just kind of has like a whole bunch of random stuff in it and nobody really knows what's in there? Yeah, well after this morning, I know what's in that drawer because they looked in there and there was no calculators. So then I start calling everybody I know Asking like, hey, hey girlfriend, you got a calculator I could borrow? But of course, with my luck, everybody else has already taken the SATs and using their calculators. So I wake my mom up and I'm like, mom, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't have a calculator. Everybody's already at the SATs. Like, what do I do? She's all like, don't panic. Because me, being the honor student that I was... I panic about everything. So she hands me her credit card and her car keys and tells me to go to Walgreens and grab a calculator. It's on the way to the school. Everything's going to be fine. So by this point, it's like 7.30ish. And I have to be in Rising Sun, which is 15 minutes from my house, by 7.45. So I'm like, all right, well, I have to get to Walgreens right now then because I'm literally going to have 30 seconds to get in and out of that store. I don't know if you know anything about Walgreens, but it is not 24 hours, and it does not open before 8 a.m. So I get to Walgreens, and I realize that it opens at 8. But I have to be at the school at 7.45. I call my mom, and I'm like, Linda... I'm gonna fail, I don't have a calculator, like what do I do? Don't panic. She says, go to Walmart, they'll have calculators, they're open 24 hours, everything's gonna be fine. I live here, Rising Sun, where my SATs are, is all the way over here. And Walmart is 15 minutes in that direction, all the way over there. So here I am with this crazy idea that I'm going to get to Walmart in time to get back to Maryland by 7.45. Mind you, I'm in the middle of having a panic attack, and it's raining, and I'm speeding, and this is bad. I'm still on phone with my mom, and I get to Walmart, and at this point, it's 7.42. I literally have... Minutes to get a calculator and drive a whole 25 minute drive to Rising Sun. So I'm still on phone with my mom and I'm sprinting through Walmart, like full on, like people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm in the calculator aisle and I'm like. So at this point, I kind of just like accept my fate that I'm there's no way that I'm ever going to get there. So I go to the parking lot, get in my car, and I just completely lose it. I really shouldn't be driving at this point, and so I call my sister, and it's 7.45 in the morning on a Saturday. She's in college, and so I'm sure you can imagine she's not exactly in a place to be talking to me at 7.45 a.m., So I call her in the middle of this mental breakdown. And she's like, oh my god, did somebody die? Are you pregnant? Like, what is happening? And I'm like, I missed the SATs. I'm not going to get to college with the scores they already have. And I'm going to have to work at McDonald's. And 
I'm going to live in mom's basement for the rest of my life. And I'm going to not even be able to be a crazy cat lady. Because I'm allergic to cats. Like, I don't have nothing to do. And though I didn't know it at the time, she was right when she showed me I was crazy for thinking that. It was probably one of the most stressful days in my entire life. But I still got into college. So long story short, even if you miss the SATs and you really think you're not going to make it, you can still get into the college of your dreams. And one bad day is not going to ruin your whole life, no matter how much you think it will. So at the end of the day, my mom came and picked me up and took me to McDonald's, and everything was okay. 